Gigi Better's interview. Doing well. Doing all right. Because it's Gigi. Yeah, of course. Keep it uploaded. Yeah, I know. Keep it uploaded. But that's the point, right? That's why you get people like that so that... Uh, um, even for Fiesta, you're telling me for Fiesta, I didn't manage to go, but you're telling me for Fiesta, they had, uh, she had a big response. Big <laughs> 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 Big Femi Pig. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 Blink Four, man, I still, I've, n- I've never watched Blink Four to perform. Baga, Baga was crazy. Baga we raga. Baga was crazy. Yeah, and then Denny Moods. Yeah. Ah, uh, set with Denny Moods. Ranga ranga ipa. How long? How long was set with Denny Moods? How many songs did you do? I did a lot of songs. Like I got to my way, and everyone came on on stage. I remember my way, yeah. and they performed the my. Then by that you see it. Yeah, man, it's it's really exciting to see Denim Machado because, like, at a certain point, we almost felt like Denim, I'm not gonna like the whole English thing, not gonna mm-hmm. other, but like, that's 8,000 people. How many people were the fiesta? I've seen like a lot of different numbers. I saw someone, Phil was saying there were 8,000 people. Who? Phil, Phil Chad. Do you know Phil? I don't know Phil. Okay, but yeah, I but enjoy I, his. Yeah, anyway, yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But yeah, uh, it was wrong on There were a lot of people. Lot of people. So you know, it's easy to count the numbers when you're in the VIP section. <laughs> Hard. Jason, not... you were not in the VIP section. You were working backstage. Oh, yeah. Funny difference. No. So, yes. Can only, can only guard the VIP section. I didn't enter the VIP section of that event. Can I enter the VIP section? Which thing is all right? Go my button there and I did the true VIP. I'm on the table. I'm on the table. In the table. Shark face on the table will be great. Any game in my scene. Don't boy out of fears that will be big great. I'd set them on a table. I will pop out at a ramp door and my desert at something. But I'm saying, ah, uh, Baga was crazy. And uh, I appreciate Baga. Baga, ah, uh, he's going far. Like, hey, I bag a more one. I'll tell a bag of my face while I go. And you just send a film to face. I bag a shit. Uh, he, just, he just started his Twitter account. Uh, mm-hmm. I think it's a bag of ZW or so bag of music. Bag of music ZW, yeah. Uh, like come, follow, go. come follow his regime. I'm not going to follow it because I just know my followers on Twitter. No, no. Go bro, follow Kurumi. No, bro. I don't follow. Go on Twitter. Hey. Sure. So, one more follow on Twitter. Petty. I don't know follow Jason. Uh, we should actually start putting your handle. Well, yeah. our handles. I just scroll up over here. Yeah. Uh, um, same day that Arya Stark who yeah, culture is a country we must pray for Munaranga. I don't know to eat it. It's a country we want to not matter to Tanya. I don't I mean, it wasn't 80 people. I don't think it was good misinformation, but yeah, it didn't look like it was a lot of people. It was 80. 2018, bro. Papa knew my pictures. There was way more than 80 people. But like, you turn on my picture. I tell me I got tour on the end going in the air ground. I got tour on the end. No, 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 no. Papa knew my pictures. I got tour from the VIP. I like because VIP angry on the side, on the right side, so you could see like the the full scope of. of... I told you. Yeah, but I know hosting events is tricky, man. Yeah. Because my numbers are just that you need. How much do you think Iris Star would be to bring in here? Like 15, 20, maybe know. even more. Because the thing is, two planes. Two what? Two planes. For of what? Under two days, which was no. For Nigeria? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
And I also, uh, but maybe she was already cheap because uh, she was already on the tour. So mm. I think she I was coming to in Malawi after that. Yeah, I think she was coming from Zambia, and then about to Zimbabwe. So it's easy because I don't know. I know book posts in Zimbabwe. Quite a post that she go. At least you know she post a word for stage. You wear it. You don't need to. You don't need to post the crowd. Did you see her energy? Yeah, I post her energy. I'm not saying that energy. Even when she was performing rush, even when she was. Ish, <laughs> 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 yeah, but I got that one. And then what I liked was Tammy had a better performance than Ira Star from my own point of view. Tammy is an incredible performer. Though. She is an she incredible, is a really, really good performer. And the designer who dressed there is the one who's dressing me today. Fish me jeans. Yeah, yeah. But tell me, I be a bit of a wonder, but I'm not a bit of Material in the is all gathered in with the term before my performance is like that. I don't know what I'm saying. No, term and the bumps with this is true. So, and those are due to them going to get there in a form of bumps with the game. I'm going to go to pitch me jeans and take it. Sandora Pinter, you're on the other way up in the day. That he pitched me jeans. I'm a creature, so man. Some of them did. Also, RIP to Gary. Man, RIP Gary. Yeah. It uh, was a dark weekend. Man, it was a dark weekend, and it began up in at a time where it was also just a really busy time. Yeah. I think everyone I know busy. was performing somewhere, whatever. So I yeah, saw Van yeah. Vajiti Hills, he was the only one who came back to go to the funeral, and no one else did. And it's like, Bro, my face, I had my performance. I yeah. both could do Like, we only did two performances one night, and yeah. it Saturday. And then I also think, and I did And then yeah. everyone was just busy, bro. Everyone was just busy, so. And even on that Japanese. What I liked, though, was everyone came out to be like, ah, oh, yo, R.I.P., Winky. Uh, in fact, I don't know if there was anyone who was out performing who didn't give. I like Gary. And. Yeah, she must have done this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yeah, I but I mean, yeah, either yeah, way, RIP, like RIP Gary, RIP, yeah. massive, massive guy in our industry. And then I tell the people that we say, I tell the people that we come on, I should come on drugs. Come on, I said the people that we say, I don't know what people that we say, I tell the people that we say, I tell the people that we say, I come on, I should come on drugs. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on drugs. I no, I tell, tell me why you, why you saying that? Because it's not the first time that I've heard it. Uh, but I'm not going to go rehab for long enough. Uh, I got Zoga here, actually, for my drugs. Why are why, why you saying that? Let's just be honest, because we actually like St. Flo, but didn't run out. So that you... Oh, you have to have St. Flo. You have to have St. Flo. You have to have St. Flo. What I'm saying is... Yeah, what I'm saying is... Yeah. Right before I go rehab. Yeah. 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 But I saw, I saw an interview where he was explaining that he... And then this is not like a heavy, heavy problem. Yeah, man. Uh, oh, no, I'm very personally. Stop acting like I'm very personally. I didn't have like, my issues and I eat. Uh, I'm very uh, personally, but I'm not going to do it. But I'm not going to do it. 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 And then. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hey, uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh but you know, 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 you I was discussing. Yeah. 
I know I risk it to be. Yeah, baby, mama, I'll be yes. with you. Oh, don't tell me, baby, mama, you want me. I say, I'll go, I'll do it all right. <laughs> pass, pass. Yeah, no, but I mean, like, I, I hope, to be honest, I also think, like, sometimes people think with the same flow behavior. Yeah, okay. In fact, not just same flow, but a lot of people sometimes you assume the behavior yeah, is because of my drugs. But my life, I'm good with my personality. But I'm going to turn on my my jean and paint your yellow, green, blue, or go to Pongo Pizza and paint over. But he had to restyle it. I go on. Right. 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 Okay. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to ask, what's your take on this guy who's changing and then silent key? Where? Mm. Do you have your songs in your phone? No. Why? I don't think I, like I mean honestly man shout out to Gwere but I don't think it's actually music. Do you know <laughs> like I think Muna Nuna kids up to more than Kuna kids are good music because like I've listened so, to my snippet so and would you, date, would you date someone? Someone and I don't say that I'm still in Would you date someone? I don't want you to. I want you to suffer no suffer. I know you're worried about your suffering. I know you're about to send him a bouquet of things. I don't want you to be the one who gives me. I don't want you to be the one who gives me. I don't want you to be the one who gives me. I don't want you to be the one who gives me. I don't want you to be the one who gives me. The only uh, silent one, the one I'm phone more, maybe in silent mode. Yeah. One more is that one. Ah, no silent kid. I should. They must be silent. I I just your music, baby. But I think like every once in a while, I'm get to umna. I'm gonna get to the chara and use again. Just under the chara. And you told Bo. In this under the chara, there's a kuti. Zubit case, I see music. So I find him busy with sneak and the grass. Exactly. We must be super super brave now. I bet December, December, just just talk on our Saturdays. I say, let me kill a December. I'm about to solve my bling four, which is a great move for bling four. Not for bling four. Great move for sale. Yeah, shot. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's no. a big move for Anzan. Silent killer. Silent killer. Ask us on the fucking jam music. So I I I don't need you to have that to be a music career now. Mm. But Blink Four, mm. there are upon a day we put a zip slip, we put post a silent killer. Three, four, five, six. One night I did a. Oh, that's all. Drop the zip slip. But most of our good news, I silent killer. I see your music. I see your music. On the program, we put a. Nice. Silent Killer, Comic Pasta, DJ Towers, Passion Java, like they can make some. I had to tell you there's no music. I wonder how it's out to tell you that this is a show. I'm not going to be guilty. We can't just go drop an album and run away. In those kind of situations, I don't know how to tell you the group. Oh, I don't know how to tell you the music. We never hear them from now. I work on. Who I have in my phone doesn't mean <laughs> good in no no no. Who I have in my phone doesn't determine good in the anyway music. Some some of these people are so good. Do they really? Now do guys more? What's our name Zimbabwe? Are we audience really hard to impress? The audience here in Zimbabwe. Yeah, no. Because I'm telling you, good. No question, so no good. Oh, you an Italian too. I don't want to roll my number, so good. But I don't want to fire you. I do tell you. Are you fire a drug as more? ndikana <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Uh, moving on from music, because they don't love music, because they don't love music so much. Uh, but moving on, I'm going to call him MP. I'm going to call him MP. Parliament. So, I'm going to call him MP. So, secu- interim secretary general, acting interim secretary general, we're CCC. I can you remember? I can speak of parliament. Kuti, pani fifteen my members, I try to recall. So what happens is, once you recall them, pani back from later on by election. So you remember last year, pagal made on my election. Now I'm going to random, random man. It's because uh, CCC engaged them. So can now see them MDC who are part of a new party. They then have a new election. So I try to recall our fifteen. Then go wait. Uh, my by elections, my place is well. We need to visit them. But I, I moon are good in in the interim secretary general triple C. But on a triple C already, I'm going to go. We see how much it is matter. I go. Then do a triple C. Don't look like someone who's into Bible verses. Also do a triple C. I na di believe him. La no one guy jungo wearing a Bible verse. Sure. Oh, people are so crazy. Well, no matter how much I'm going to read, I'm not going to go to my Bible verse. I'm going to read my Bible verse, John 14 verse one. I'm going to attend the Gerge Kuman kids. I'm going to get there so, bro. I'm telling you, good days, nosy. Kuchi na ego me need a three dollars. Onu zote moyi Gerge Kuman kids. Zogu ba 2002. You zwanze moyi Gerge Kuman kids. Zogu skate zips. You want zote moyi Gerge Kuman kids. No tear up on my Bible verse. So, what would you suggest? They, they, Chamisa we bana. Huh? Chamisa. Yeah. And I think which no, but it was but it's not but I don't there's no way NPM is going to rig. Then day after Ogro Chemachi Mondari. But forgot there's no way. That's what he did the same last time. Acham Zakundi man. So modem nyon. Ba kufan kita mnyon. Shai nyi shangari. As this is a way to look before he leaves on the material gun up bo. What the tour and a kiki pago? I'm a junior I'm a junior office, and I'm so damn crazy. I'm a good in the wrong hair. Bandugo, I am a pebble visit. Sadar, I always say, Lucy, we shall be shabu, a badish, a pubs of every day, bubble waste. Oh, but don't see when they want. It's like it's other two when they eat it. Yeah, no. I think I I don't know, but I, I what could, yeah, which is a good question. But even away from a manager, there are enough one who are smart around Chamisa for someone to say good evening, Bomila, including when I get us a fuzzy fuzzy ask you to do. Fuzzy is on Twitter every day. Hey, my team was MP Fuzzy. Mona fans up. Tani three weeks. We can go chill. We're not going back. Team constituents may you know. I think I take a good photo. Right. Fans up. I'm a dagger. MP. I cancel it. Just to go back there. My equipment. We're going to go as regards the fans up. And then there's a there's a guy known as Guasira. Actually, now that we're calling out my MP. The guy known as Guasira. Angaji ran off as an PF in Arari West. Dar ma post age e sa jira ngo zara nga chiri rana for na be election ga bizo ma post age ta bone ma post e se munhu e se mdc triple c removing posters ai ai zwi ma post a nga na basana das ndi na ta ngo ta ro ngo ti mbura ya ku zona ya plus kune ma outbreak kore re kore pa ka ngo chero 3 weeks kore re kore kole ye kuna outbreak kore ro zwi ano mbura ngo no se ga ngo ti kore re Korea. 
Dos orang tahu. Udah religi. Udah sih. Udah religi. Asal orang VIP. Emma muda muda ini nanti nampak zinza baju. Jasa muda kan zinza. Udah rendiri bos. Saya ini dulu 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 dah susah juga. Ya, ya. Ish. Ah, ko Israel Palestine. Nah, that is it. So, I think two months ago there was um, there's this event that they do. Uh, I think it's like a holiday in Palestine. So they will be commemorating, like the kids who were killed, and in Palestine with the Israelites, and then. So they do an event like I don't know every month. You I think it was I don't know, but two months ago or something. So they were celebrating in Zoom, and then they did a theater play called uh, I'm forgetting the name. And then shout out to Bob, he was the director, and then Bob, Bob Ntumbi, the one at the Mumbishi Tawana Tinai from the show. Mm. Man, shout out to Nai Family Show. What a great show. Yeah, that's a great show. Uh, so they did the play. And then when I was watching the play, I was so touching, man. And I was sitting to, I was sitting next to the ambassador and his vice, I think. And then his vice was like crying mm. when they were showing the... And then they were saying that, yeah, this is... Like it's a big issue because my Israelis they say our uh, our our they're saying that it's our land and they always and because my Palestine so my Israelis are always attacking them and attacking them and yeah yeah it was just a little bit of politics that's when we are going to do the books again books again. I was sitting next to the ambassador. I was sitting next to the ambassador. Yeah, no, I mean, like, on a more serious note, obviously, it's a. Uh, I think death toy actually now is up to 2.5. That's a, that's, that's a lot of people, yeah. That's a lot of people. Um, and obviously, like a lot of the massive video, mm. that issue is so complex um, in discussing. So, for example, the area of Bomo and Gaza, mm. uh, Gaza Strip, is about 40% the size of Iran. And Israel is talking about which there's 6,000 bombs into that place. Mm. Uh, but the guys that uh, head them, because it's actually governed uh, separately near, near Palestine, mm. it's governed by Hamas. And but not sure. I must want to trace some headquarters. I will pass by my hospital, for example, because what if we were to attack Israel? Because they are Israel has way more power. Mm. So if Israel attack, if we were to attack Israel, Israel no gonna bomb Gaza. You see, by end of day, in terms so, of fi- firepower. So even go to but no bomb to need a protector because my Israel, when my Israel, ideally, but now we don't know if it's, if that's what they're doing now. But I've been going to the a civilian. So it's but it doesn't just, look like they don't want to kill civilians. Yeah, man, and that's why it's complex. I don't even want to say like I, I have a position on it because like in Israel there was a hospital ever bomb and five hundred people died. And in that but so, Israel at the city, so it was a bomb, yeah, that to me a need jihad, which is basically the second party the well, basically those guys we are by the Kui to misfire land. So Israel did that is and they so even have a video. Israel. Most actually. They're supporting Israel. Yeah. Why? Most. Uh so it's it's a little bit complex, but yeah, Israel my, m- remember Guti, these guys Vagam Beta like they were heavily getting killed during um uh, by Hitler. Mm. And then they were not displaced, but they were put ku 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 Palestine. Palestine young uh, colonized by the UK at a certain point. So, but even they believe could have any ancestral uh, right to be there because my Jews, so from 3,000 years ago, we already deserved to be here. And then 
So Ndopa ni beef yajo. But the problem is this group Yeku Yeku Palestine Nunzi Hamas mm. is constantly bombing innocent people. Uh, not innocent people but civilians. And then Pawanu bomb about Israel in very retaliate. But in very retaliate and a massive force. So a lot of people, a lot of the people that are support uh, Israel right now, the basis is good. Imimi Amuna uh sort of could Palestine do it in and then even lose all the Sarah basis. Mm. So it's but like that that issue is so complex, man. There's a video and I'm near Trevor Noah, which was the best one. But where he basically some area gave us a tattoo to who's right or who's wrong. Because to end up forever to start as well. But let's also talk about Kuti Israel shouldn't be using force in the, in the extreme. Israel in a dome in Ukecha Marokas and Utumrani Jihad. These guys are on a technology and that. So you want to go kind of Marokas. Pang Boga O Gamma five vote but one you in that through Pang Bora Iran three Israel two up. You know what I mean? So it's like it's good in the who started it, whatever, but yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh Tish Matas today. Yeah. Exciting. Uh I've been trying to get Tish Matas for a long time. Um what are your questions? For Tish. Mm. NRTV. TV. NRTV is a big one. Mm. Do you know King Matas? No, I don't know. Well, not Tish Matas is a rapper. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll play some of his stuff. Uh, yeah, please do. No, he's actually good. No, but, but please don't play. No, I won't. Cool, but he's actually good. Yeah, but don't play the song. Man. Okay. The Farox and I'm doing this in the day, so no night. Okay. And it's meant to be. Okay. To be. Okay. I'm doing it. No, and he's good. He's really good. He's really good. <laughs> I, I saw Titch is actually in one of the videos as well. Very good. And. I was the first time to do it. And. Because the first time to do it. I know. Andrew Gang said, switch it out. I don't know. No, it's a gangster. You know, I don't know. 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 Ah, Muni Agoni, as you do. Muni, Inini, or another goal, as you do. Ah, Muni Agoni, Dooms are personal. Tongue and good one person. But in Bad Agoni. Eh, but I can't, and this is true to our enemy, so I can't say. But if the Gaguz are not going, usually Muni and go. But they are going. But and this is true to our enemy, so I told him to her for a whisper. This is true to her. Ah, good. It doesn't I good. It was uh, how the first couple of months now it launched December. Yeah. In our TV. Mm. Yeah. What were the difficulties that you didn't see coming? <laughs> yeah. I think fundamentally. We, we have an idea, but a great vision. Mm. It's always difficult to create uh, a production family that gels. Okay. Creativity is, is a workplace for individuals with egos. <laughs> <laughs> Massive ones. <laughs> you, know, uh, you, see, you see, he concurs because mm. he's got a big one as well. Yeah, right? yeah. No, I, mean, I, won't, I won't pretend <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. So it's trying to uh, get people to understand that you got to work together. You've got to yeah. be able to to really focus on what you want to achieve, uh, and put all your differences aside in order, you know, to be able to produce something uh, incredible and memorable. Yeah, I think the the addition of uh, like the creative economy in Zim, and that I think that would be one of the most key things that you give us perspective on. Um, in, in understanding sustainability for stuff. Yeah. For, like, we would be here and we're making shows and we ultimately would love for these shows to pay the rent and to mm. pay for the bills. And it, it's not it's not as easy mm. as, you know, you'd want. You get, like, decent base numbers, but even then it's like, okay, it's not enough marketing eyes. Yeah. Uh, when when you talk to people on your team or people externally and they're trying to figure out how to best be sustainable, like what's that conversation? What what direction is is best to go in? Dennis, the quack buy has always been no one has ever 
given thought to actually the creation mm. of an industry which is based on the arts. Okay. You see? So you find that when we were young, we were taught to go to school, mm. get an education, and go and get employed. Yeah. Get a good job, either be a teacher, be a doctor, be a bus driver. Yeah. <laughs> no one has ever gone to work to become the only, pe the only, the only people or, who were taught to be bus drivers yeah. were people whose parents owned several buses <laughs> <to Shmataz. laughs> no one else is being that told true. to be a bus driver <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gotta but, tell uh, my yeah. dad this <laughs> like you were giving me bad advice yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> so really you see economics is based on you know what you're selling is buying and for the longest time, no one really ever cared for the arts, mm. you know. So I'm going to wash your ass. I'm going to wash your ass. No, 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 no. Well, either you await your, your university results or you're waiting to get called in for an interview. Yeah. Go hang out with your friends. You know, Mumbo eat us with my guitar. Yeah, but in the meantime, do my guitar. But she has to get into the serious stuff later. This is it. So I think, you know, the interesting thing is those who have really done well in this country, in the arts, I don't think they set out to be, you know, huge in what they do. It's almost by by sheer luck. Yeah. You know, or by mistake. Mm. Um, some of the international people we've had, Anna Mbuya Stella, she was, she was late. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she went on a tour as a young lady, got discovered overseas, and yeah. she blew up. Yeah. And most of her life, she was a Zimbabwean artist, mm. but based outside of the country. And it was an incredible career, but for the amount of brand building she did for the nation, yeah. We we have not um, celebrated yeah, her life to, yeah. and her contribution to who we are as a nation mm. as much as we should have. Yeah. So basically what I'd like to really do, if if God permits it and, and this new, the second republic permits yeah. it, is to create a system that works for, for the science, mm. um, for the arts industry, for the arts industry three very important things that people need to be able to understand. How do you make money from the arts? Yeah. Yeah. Where is the money? Where is it? That's one. Yeah. Two, how do you define your product? Uh, yeah. A lot of people are all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> three, how do you then extract value yeah. from uh, the marketplace or from a client. Mm. Um, a lot of people come in, they're hot for a season. After that, whew, gone. Yeah. Gone with the wind. Never to be seen Never again. to be seen or heard of again. And it's unfortunate that the arson itself is is can be quite fickle. You know, you can be hot today. Uh, yeah. uh, Dennis, good-looking young man, hot mm. chick. Uh, barely dressed, comes onto the scene, yeah. has nothing between her ears, but she looks the part and they'll forget about you. Yeah. However, if you have that thing, cut that, yeah. you'll be able to sail through mm. you know, whatever difficulties, whatever hardships, and sometimes whatever seasons, yeah. Yeah, you'll be able to, to do what God blessed you to do, and you can actually make some money. Yeah. You just just talking about the people who made it and how, like you're saying, a lot of them made it by mistake. My my thing is, I think a lot of the people that end up in those spaces end up there not expecting money, so it's true passion. Yeah. So they're able yeah. to sustain it for longer. Yeah. Uh, was that was that the same for you? Um, you obviously made it big here, uh, DJ Spoo, yeah. uh, Zeke Zeke, yeah. and 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 those guys still speak very highly of you in in South Africa. Was that move? Were, were you one of the people that decided early that this is, this is a path that I could turn into that, uh, especially with the crossover? Or it was never about the money. Yeah. 
It was never. I'm, about I'm the grateful money. that I'm. <laughs> I made a bucket load of cash. Yeah, nice, nice, nice whip, I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you see me walking on the streets without my car, <laughs> just know no, my whip is no, outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. So as a young person, I just had this passion, this love, this incredible energy, yeah. you know, to want to go out there and share the little, little that I had with others. Um, it is really funny, you know, how it began as, as a time, a pastime gig. Yeah. And then it, it became my main thing. It still is. The economy in the country can be a little fickle. I, I have to dabble between being a business person, being a DJ, being a parent, yeah. uh, being a bigger brother, yeah. and all kinds of things yeah. in order for me to, to live a very sustainable life. But interesting, I always knew that no matter what I did, I was going to give it my best. Okay. If I was going to be a guy who tried us outside the street, yeah. I was going to make sure that my street it's is clean. the cleanest. <laughs> <laughs> to the Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So even if I had taken a different trajectory, I think I would still would have made an impact in whatever career I would have taken up. Um, but I'm glad that I, I, I answered the call of becoming a radio and a television personality as yeah. a young person. Uh, there were a lot of detractors. There were a lot of people, even within, the, you know, the family surroundings. People are, yeah. are looking at you thinking, when are you going to take life seriously? <laughs> when are you, you going to get do, a job? Do you know what? Do you know who your father was? <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think it's it's the 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 environment is is almost best suited to people like that. Um, a, a little bit of my story was. I was not a media or in the media until about a year ago really? at all. Um, I I went I went to to Gateway uh, for high school. I left and went to university in Pretoria between yeah. 2000 and 2014. Yeah. Came back. Um, I worked for a little bit. I didn't like it very much. Also, I wasn't getting paid, so it didn't make a difference. <laughs> so I decided. So what did you study in Pretoria? Economics. I studied economics. Oh, in okay. Yeah, yeah. I, well, it works in the business. Yeah, it does. It does, it does. It does. You then uh, you know where the money's at. I mean, not really, <laughs> <laughs> evidently. But it, it was it was an easy. It was the it was a it was a place where you realize that I can take the economics yeah. and put it into the media, mm. and I can take the politics and yes. put it into the media. Mm. All my different interests. I like sport. Mm. You can put it into yeah, the media. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it took so long. It it took until I was north of thirty to then say, you know what. Maybe let me actually go and try and do yeah, it. And, and yeah. to Arnold's credit, Soko found. Yeah. Good man. Uh, incredible Yo, so guy. bro, what's <laughs> up, man? Uh, he literally, like, in the strictest sense, took me off the street. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, as a guy who had never been He on, discovered you. He discovered me. <laughs> and he yeah. said, uh, maybe on a Thursday, how, how do you feel about being on radio? I'm like... I mean, I thought about it. In fact, I'd done an interview at ZFM that hadn't gone well a couple of years before then, okay. and I just put it on the side. And he said, yeah, let's go. Uh, Cappy Talk is looking for a breakfast team. Uh, I told them I'm coming with you. Okay. Like, okay, so like... Nice work. Walk me through it. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. Well, nice work is for later. Tell me what I'm supposed to be saying <laughs> so I don't embarrass myself when I get there. And like, nah, it's fine. You'll figure it out. Yeah. I, I promise you. Almost straight into the deep end, just like straight that. Straight into the deep end. Now, um, he then he's told me most of what I know about this space. But on the day, on the first day that I got to radio, he said, I want you to create the radio that you think should exist. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it's such a valuable lesson in just being the guy who's like, yo, okay, yeah. this is so the person that I am. project, yeah, so profound. I <laughs> Not just project, <laughs> the industry plant, yeah, so profound. <laughs> Ten percent of nothing yeah. is nothing. So I'm gonna try that too, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think you know, being having gone through the education and like everything else, and now trying to figure out what kind of media personality I'll be, and it was never the main thing. And I think it, it right, makes it more sustainable. If you get it right, Dennis, you're gonna be in this business for life. Yeah. Okay. 
because the creative industry is about life. Mm. The arts is about life. The Picasso, yeah. you know, the Mona Lisa. Yeah. These are works of art that go beyond the lifetime of the artist. Yeah. There are things that we're doing right now which will continue to resonate many, many years after we've gone. Mm. I, I also find that the thing that we have not set out to do in this country particularly is we have not set out to package the art form. Mm. So, so fleetingly people come into a studio, do what they gotta do, go oh, on, they don't care where, where they're gonna air it, they, they have no idea what platform to use, and sometimes you wanna look back at a show or a, a presentation that happened five, 10 years ago, no one has, <laughs> you know? No archiving, yeah. no historical material to go back to, and that's our loss. Mm. Africans, by nature, we're storytellers. Yeah. Yeah. We all sit around the fire, grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, niece, you name it. Yeah. Pa and people, yeah, paiva po. Yeah. Zip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And people listen attentively. Mm. And uh, there were a lot of amazing stories told around the fire. Mm. No one ever thought of actually packaging that and turning that into content. Yeah. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about Africa really waking up to understanding that we need to be able to create an entire industry. Yeah. yeah? From uh, producers, writers, researchers, voices, actors, actresses, dancers, you name it, and also create the road, the conduit, the platform, the internet, yeah. on, on which all this material can ride on. Mm. China has done it. India has done it as well. Not as good as China. Yeah. We continuously depend on others in order for us to um, to do what we we should do. Yeah. Facebook, Mark and his team did an incredible job. But similarly, in Africa, another young Mark, another young Dennis should have created uh, a system. Here. Yeah, something that works for Africa. Mm. So, so, so we. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so we're fully reliant on on products and facilities that we have no control over. Mm. And that is a major, major challenge that we face as Africa. African states, the 54 African states should actually come together and really become full-time participants in this industry. Yeah. There's AI coming, coming in. Mm. There's animation. There are all kinds of things that the world has, has been doing for the last 30, 40 years. And we haven't even started. Africa hasn't even scratched to to, to go into those spaces, um, and we we started to touch on the economy. I think what you're talking about is is creating a creative economy, yeah. like having producers yes. and like producers doing. You know, people don't. And understand don't want to be everything, D. No, you, you don't. See, you're a pretty guy. You 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 do what you gotta do. I look try. look handsome in front <laughs> of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but you can't do everything. Um, you any world class. No, we can't afford it. And this is what I was about to get to. Is I think that sometimes what happens is Dennis comes about and he says, I want to make a podcast. Um, I could get a producer, a digital person, a paid media person, a stylist, uh, this or that. But eventually this is going to lead me to paying amounts that I can't afford for a product that's not making money yet. So you have to get like, uh, I'm not sure what's going on outside, but... Uh, but you have to get a you have to get a, 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 a an economy where because there's money coming in you can hire more of these people and like that's also creating jobs so even when you talk about the fact that africa should come together i think the thing that's missing is they don't even realize how yeah. much potential yeah. would be in having our own version of youtube here china has yes. 10 cent yeah which is, we're not going to create multi-billion dollar enterprises for you via our consumption. Uh -huh. We're going to create them here. Yeah. 
and obviously like i know you'll be very well versed and active now with nrtv because that's yeah. you know it's part of what you'd be trying to do how you found the experience of dealing with historically low incomes on the continent not just in zimbabwe but on the continent and you're trying to get these people because the advertisers that want to come and advertise need to see that you're advertising to people who have money to buy whatever products they are advertising so how do you bridge that gap fantastic you know you know that's a very very integral question within the industry why sometimes we are trying to sell a product to people who don't have the money mm. so as an economist what do you do either you change the market or you change the product yeah yes yeah um and most of the time we are lazy we don't grow or evolved or we, we don't grow or evolve with the viewer listener or the marketplace yeah, yeah? we still want to do what zbc was doing 30 years ago <laughs> yeah and 30 years ago zbc did not have as many competitors as, as they do now. There was no internet. No. There was no cell phone. Yeah. There was no laptop when they started off. Yeah. There were no podcasts. Mm. None of this was available. So when you left the office, came back from school, you had one place provider. to find you. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> For in, any kind of information or entertainment. Yeah. You know, maybe even as soon as twenty years ago. Yeah, twenty years for, ago. For most of us in primary true. school, would come home. There would be Smurfs or Power Rangers on TV, and everyone would know what's everybody happening. Everybody would know. Everyone everybody knows would what's know. on Studio Two Six Three. Everybody. <laughs> after 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 the television show today, everybody yeah. would be discussing last night's program. Yeah. You know, at at tea time yeah. or at lunch time the next day. That's no longer happening. Yeah. Well, to some degree, uh, not as much not as, as much as it, yeah, used, to as, used, as it used to. Uh, and I'm saying, as a corporation, as an industry leader, they have not mutated, neither have they taken up the challenges mm -hmm. that the broadcasting industry has faced in the last five, ten years. Yeah. So, but, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I want to ask, when you look at our, the quality of the productions that we are making in the country, is it something that is sellable or to go to Manikuti, since it's a tributana, we're just trying. Are they products that have good quality that we can sell? Like there's someone who say, are this something that I would like to watch? Because I've sat down with Shiona, like ZBC and other channels. And then my scene, I mean, guys, you would have a TV. It's not something you could in the go to me say, can I get it? It's no one on the one I should go. I have a good other side, guys. Good is in the letters back and the ethos of Hollywood, Bollywood, Nollywood, they would eat the things that people were talking about. Yeah in the streets mm. you're able to see those stories on some kind of medium mm. so what do you could why shoot them a feature movies mm. on a phone yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> on an entire three hour movie on, on a, a phone, phone yeah. to start off with yeah. so you can't complain about ah no we don't have the facilities chi 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 no, but I'm talking about the authenticity, like the stories. This, we are this, trying to borrow a Hollywood story and make it a Zimbabwean story. Know, but, but let me ask you something. Yeah. A lot of the stories that Hollywood sometimes has made tons of money from are borrowed stories. Wakanda is an example. Yeah. Is that an African story? It's a fake African story. <laughs> 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 let, let me ask. Let me ask you a question. Do you know of uh, you, you know of the Munumtaba Empire? Mm. You know Lord Bengola, Chaka Zulu, mm, mm, mm. Do you know of Changamire Dongo? Yes, I know Changamire. Are these not 
incredible and fundamental stories to be told. That's what I'm trying Have to talk about. Have you seen any of them anywhere? No. Then Iwewe is a creative person. Why are you sitting here? Why are you not creating animation on Zuligazi, on Chakazu? Upon him like was... magic cameras. <laughs> 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 if you don't think the South African yeah, Shaka Zulu story, I mean, yeah. look at what they've done with it. Yeah, man. with the Shaka and Lembe. Yeah. yeah, that's Shaka what I'm saying. What have they done with it? Because they're here. Why can't you do the same with Chalemane uh, Dombo? Amani. 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 The ideas, because what I, what I think is the problem is the Van Wanima ideas, they're not the ones that are connecting to you guys who are going to give them a breakthrough. Why not? So I don't know who the can break down communication gacho kari papi papa but munane idea ga dava cuz you don't so, involve me <laughs> i'm not involving you okay. and not it wasn't you okay like yeah, I, 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 I just said yeah, it no, wasn't me cuz if you're going to say you don't have access to the people who do this <laughs> no but i'm just saying i'm that. glad we're having this conversation mm. so first and foremost you are acknowledging that the stories are there the stories are there and i also have the so problem. many Zimbabwe I don't want to call it a, a problem. I want to say the challenge. The challenge yeah. is sometimes the person who is the story does not have access to somebody like you who can turn that story into motion picture. Mm. And it is. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but for example, for example, the first like the uh, only Zimbabwe movie. Uh, so, 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 Jason, for context, is a movie. Yeah, okay. The uh, for oh, example, she got the only movie, maybe the best movie that yes. we can point, a Zimbabwean movie yeah. that is on Netflix. Yeah. The story is not a Zimbabwean movie because in Zimbabwe it's a cooking competition. <laughs> so you can't say that that is Zimbabwean story. So that's the, not, the, the, the so issue so remains whose problem is this that? This is it. Whose problem is that? <laughs> whose problem is it that we don't have better things? We're on not Netflix? telling our stories. Yeah. Who's not telling our stories, Jason? You are not. connection you are the one that's not telling. Authentic Zimbabwean story. Stories are very basic. Mm. You know? Beginning, middle, and, 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 and an end. Yeah. I did. And what can you know as Jack and Naka, what can you research? Everybody wants to listen or watch a beautiful story. Yeah. There have been many, many incredible stories that had nothing to do with guns or glamour or 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 Hollywood mm. that have been told by simple um, creative individuals. Yeah. There was that Italian story. I need to look it up, man. Do you know what I'd actually um, give as an example? Mm. It'll come to me, I'll let you know. Yeah. Mm. Is, let's say, take Udio Pamoy, for example. Mm. Wadio Pamoy. Wadio Pamoy. Wadio Pamoy. That was a, it was a Zimbabwean good story. Zimbabwe. It was a good Zimbabwean story told in all the different Zimbabwean neighborhoods, right? So part of it was shot in Mayborain, and I actually grew up in Mayborain. Okay. So like I'll be like, oh, for Reserve Bank Sports Club, or oh, that's and this of yeah, that part, I, I and it's a relatable yes, story, right? Yes. And obviously, then it didn't work out, which maybe will like segue into what I would have asked yeah. you next about the 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 products, yeah, and. Uh, I, I want to bring up uh, King Mataz. Yeah. Uh, you know, you have a, you have a creative son. Uh, you guys should check out King Mataz's music. I met him recently at at the studio, um, and he raps mostly in English. Yeah. So I'm I'm we're around a lot of <laughs> we're around a lot of rappers here, and yeah. the one thing that we're always saying is, guys, make your music so it's relatable to Zim. Which I feel is a packaging issue, which you had started to touch on. Yeah. Do you have is is the conversation similar about bringing it back home, or is authentic authenticity authenticity mm. in the sense that he grew up around DSTV and he grew up in a home where you know dad was uh, doing Coca Cola hey, on the beach and playing know? nearly on TV. Yeah. So that's who he yeah. is. Yeah. So what? Where 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 is the line there? How do we get it? Oh man, that's 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 a strong, strong question as well as comment. For the longest time, if you wanted to be taken seriously in this country, you why for no one knows. Remember, I'm my I'm my S R B. My strong rule of background. 
Oze watu wakati waitunzi wangu zika panzimu wakataza kuita accent pari ya Dennis. Jina, nobody would ever take you seriously. Yeah. I, I want to be thankful that when I went to school, my parents could afford to take me to the so-called group A schools. Yeah. Which ones? When I was young, I went to Mzawi College. Wow. I was the first black student there. Dalangani big. I know Dalangani big. I'm a big kid. 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 Yeah. Um, Saka, with it came, I think, the, the foreign style. Accent, yeah. mannerisms, Good. even dressing. Yeah. And it was very attractive at the time. Yeah. But I've seen that over the last two to three decades, people will always question you if you sound foreign. Mm. You know, they, they want to say, Jason, what you are Zimbabwe? How come you, you, sound you sound like that? British? How come you sound American? Do you know what I mean? Mm. What are they saying? They say, you are trying to be something that you're not. That you're not, yeah. Yeah. So, and what does that mean? They prefer you to, rep, to, to be a full representation of where you're from and what you're all about. Mm. And also goes into what you just asked. Should we, as rap artists, rap in our own language, mm. even speak our own street lingo, even be able to describe uh, our, our, our surroundings, include l- little love stories that we, we, we go through as, as young people in, in the country. Why is it that we want to sound like Nelly, like mm. Snoop Dogg, like 50 Cent? We shouldn't. Yeah. Those who've been able to maintain the authenticity and, and have been proud of who they are, look at what has happened to the Afrobeat movement in mm. the last five years, man. Mm. Mm. I'm and a piano. I'm as a well. piano. Look at it, man. <laughs> it's taking. Do you oh. know the hip hop right now? Hip hop is not blowing up as much as I'm as piano. I'm a piano and Afrobeats in the states. No, it's not. It's not. Yeah. I think like Rihanna. They're turning hip hop clubs into Afrobeat Afro clubs up, in yeah. the states, my yeah. man. Yeah. And what does it say? What does it mean? It's the authenticity. Authenticity. But so the interesting thing about like that authenticity conversation, or one of the things that, uh, and we might mention so profound a couple of times, but when I got there, I was I was super conscious of not being the Salah kid on radio. I didn't want to be that guy. I want to be the relatable guy. So, you know, whether it was figuring out what's going on on Zim Celebs, what are the tropical things there, if they silent killer, Tagusasha, silent killer, Kanakuna Winza, Tagusasha Winza. But like you're, you're trying yeah, to do yeah, that. Yeah. But at, at a certain point, um, Arnold would call me out for not being authentic, for trying to be that guy. And I also realized over time that it felt like I connected more with people when I was like, okay. And yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine. And I'm not going to be sick about some of the things that I do in that direction, but it's who I am and I'm not a bad person. But there are two types of masala. There yeah. are those masala who don't want to try. At all. At all. Yeah. You know. That used to be him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yes, <I. laughs> Yeah, and you've been teaching I've been teaching this you've guy. You've been schooling this brother nah, right I want my school <laughs> fees right now. I want my school fees right now. But, but I, I do yeah. think there's a, there's a space for, for Dennis to just be Dennis. Just like yeah. there's a space for, for Titch to be to be Titch and to excel at being Titch. Because you can't be a better Titch than Titch. Yeah, true. There's a perspective that Titch has that literally no one else, for example, being the first black student at Ruzawi, yeah. is not a story that anyone else yeah, has. True, true. So if you tell that story, then that's still media. It might not be mass media yeah, in certain pockets, but it's it's media. And I think people should be allowed to. Uh-uh. No, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just ask you. Jace, is this your friend? Nah, and the bless arm. <laughs> The truth has finally come out. 
the, the beef is long stay. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Long stay. <laughs> the beef is long stay. I had the blast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. So, so I think we right now are um, approaching the crossroads, especially in Zimbabwe. Because when I say they're the guys who are in government, mm. they're the guys who are the CEOs, yeah. they're the guys who are running the economy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I think even Zimbabwean people resonate with people who represent the, the culture, the lingo, yeah. the characteristics of being a Zimbabwe. And you find, Kuti, we've, we've, we had a, a great uh, contribution of talented Zimbabweans who no longer identify as Zimbabweans and are in the diaspora, whether it's Africa mm. or in Canada UK or the UK or the States. And it's a loss to, to Zimbabwe because they've assimilated so well, you know. Mm. Even in the States, they look and act American. Yeah. And to a point, they will never really be seen as Zimbabwean. Um, Nigerians haven't done that. No. Ghanaians never did that. No. Nigerians don't even pick up accents. <laughs> they guy, just live in the UK for a, a, 20 years. A guy can live in, a, in, in America for 300 years. And, and you'll come back and say, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> like, it, it, it's almost like admirable yeah. that their souls turn yeah, fast true, in true. it. I love that about them. Yeah. And that should be us. It should. Well, Zimbabweans are, are, are well-educated, well-spoken, but still, let Zimbabweans be Zimbabweans. As you've just said, they're, they're British and American people who've come into the country. They came in 30, 40 years ago, settled in the country, and still sound American or British. Yeah. So they've remained authentic yeah. to their origin. So similarly, we should do the same. Mm. Do you think that's a bit of, a, of an inferiority complex that leads to the assimilation? So you get to you get to here, point. and if I'm British and I get here, and people sound to me funny, I'm like, uh, I'm not gonna start talking yeah. like this. But when Dennis goes to the UK, and you know the first couple of interactions, the girls are looking at him like, oh, you sound funny. Then he changes and he starts adding the in it yeah. into the sentences yeah. or whatever. Like, do you think there's like uh, peer pressure? Peer pressure and wanting to be accepted. Yeah, but. The bigger picture requires us to remain authentic. Yeah. I think we should. But I also want to ask, who in our TV, when you are, what's the process like when you are taking my projects? Do you like look for projects that tell a real authentic Zimbabwean story, or you just take Jujini good quality So I'll tell you what we we try to do. What the industry is trying to do in the country is we're trying to liberate a lot of the storytellers. We want to liberate a lot of the producers. Mm. <clears throat> because most people will want to come and tell similar stories to what already has been told yeah. on Netflix or on SABC One, ETC. And, and we don't want that. Mm. We don't want, you know, to regurgitate what's been done before. Mm. Hence the challenge mm. early on of us being able to tell strong, relatable Zimbabwean stories, which are there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're there. You can't say, oh, I have nothing to say about Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. No, you can't. There are a lot of, lot of stories, whether it be during Chimurenga, the first Chimurenga, the second Chimurenga, the third Chimurenga. Third Chimurenga. Oh. All kinds of periods within the history of Africa, there are stories to be told. Let me ask you. Mm. Do you think that there are two or three Zimbabwean artists whose story you'd like to tell? Which are they? I'd like to tell a Winky D story. That's one. Yeah. Has it been told? I like to tell a, a Jabra's story. Yeah. 
and then maybe Andy Brown as an example. And yeah, Andy Chihuahua. Brown. Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Those are stories that need to be told. Yeah, yeah even Buya still like Chihuahua. This is it. Story, yeah. Man, and some of those stories are actually so unbelievable. Like for example, the Andy Brown story. When you look at like Chingeto, for example, yeah. being uh, Andy Brown and Chihuahua's daughter. daughter. Yeah. That's insanity. That, that just is a royalty. story, man. Um, so th- I mean, there, there, there are lots of those stories, uh, like you're saying, and that even just documentation. Uh, what happened in in 2017 with with our change in government is a story, regardless of where you fall on on political divides or whatever. Someone telling that just has how many a, American stories have have we seen on television or on the internet yeah. on uh, American presidents, yeah. America under siege. Yeah. Uh, what's the Vietnam. last? Are we allowed Vietnam? to do those stories in Zimbabwe? Yes. Who stopped you, you? Nobody stopped you. Uh, you can definitely, you can definitely tell those stories. And to be fair, even if you're not only really a problem, you're good to, you keep talking about making stories that you haven't tried to make. And yet you claim to be a filmmaker. All right, let's let's just challenge you. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, Nasiga, yeah. six months from now, I'm coming back. Come on, grab us story. Mawambi, mawambi, marabi. To have six months, by and by, near East, but next month you're getting. Parabo. Muge ning. How 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 profitable is it to sell to NRTV? Like, is it? Uh, is it someone? Is it some? Is it a, a model that someone can aspire to? I'm going to make films and sell them to to platforms. I want people to to look beyond just television stations okay. in the country. Mm. The world has now become an an oyster for everybody. Tell a story that yes will touch Zimbabweans, but it must be able to touch the world. Mm. You know those South Korean. Yeah, yeah, 15 hour <laughs> K pop. K pop, yeah. Is that not an authentic South Korean story? It is, huh? Yeah. And you see a girlfriend lying by the couch for four what? or five hours crying, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, are you crying? And then 15, read. this you is have, it. If and you keep crying, you won't be able to read the subtitles. <laughs> You'll be reading a no film. This is it on TV, yeah. 34 hours, yeah. 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 And you can answer, don't talk to me. They're interrupting me. Mm. So so we are we should be able to do that. And as you're saying, we, we, we're going beyond just stories about Winky D and Ja Praise. Man, the stories are absolutely endless. Yeah. You know, right now there is a whole global movement of people who are wanting to identify themselves with their place. Of origin, black Americans as an example. Yeah, do you know? And can you imagine if you start telling the authentic stories about slavery, yeah, and how some of these people in America can can see themselves in those stories? Yeah. Remember Kunta Kinte? Yeah, that was an amazing story, story, but it was just one. Yeah. What about the kings and queens who were captured? How about the fights to try and liberate or, or 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 free them, you know, by their subordinates or, you know, their security details? Those are stories that we never told. Mm. When you see slavery stories, they are on the basis of the slave owner or the colonizer. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. What was that thing? Fifteen years a slave? What was it? Twelve years. Twelve years. Twelve, years, 12 years a slave. Yeah. Years a slave. Yes. And look look at how she acted. Yeah, that, that was a good that was movie. amazing. That was good movie. Authenticity. Authenticity. Do you know the movie Dennis? <laughs> I'm not a movie guy. So I, <laughs> I was I was I, like, uh, I, missed, uh, I stopped and I did it. Did you Dennis got out of the way part angels? I'm not a poor ranger. I'm like I have like 30 minutes to an hour before something is too long to watch. Which is crazy considering that I make long format (laughs) content. But I always understand, even when people tell me that, oh, I haven't watched this video. I'm like, no, I I, I get it. It's it's, it's quite a lot. But they also, there's a big market for people who do enjoy consuming that sort of content. It's quite interesting that some uh, art producers have a fear of 
of engaging within the arts. Mm. They want to be producers. They don't want to be Ten. consumers. Oh, consumers. Yeah. Um, Madonna, for the longest time, will not allow for his kids to watch or listen to her music. Or actually, to some point, to even watch specific television or radio shows. Yeah. Uh, because she thought that their minds would be polluted. Yeah. Uh, I know that some people work work best if they never see themselves on television, yeah. because they're their own worst critics. You know. Yeah. So people are. But, too, but you you, know. you you kind of have to grow out of it, right? Like yeah, yeah. The first time uh, we uploaded a video on YouTube, which was maybe three months ago now. Like my stomach was turning for the next couple of hours because I'm like I'm waiting for someone with a bad comment or someone to say, but that's not you know. No, don't worry about that. D. Yeah. I mean, it, it, you, you it just slowly it. goes away, yeah, but it, yeah. not not very quickly. To be fair, you still get pretty. Different nervous. people are different people to different people. Different people are different people to different people. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Dennis was wise, but that's why. I appreciate that you thought I was right. <laughs> <laughs> but also, uh, let's say could be a creative, I mean, project. Like, is it that easy for one to come and submit their project to energy? Like, how is the process like? How is that? Because I once heard that um, another TV station in Masoja. So... <laughs> So vetting <laughs> the content. I don't know the streets, do, dude. No way do the streets. So vetting a content. And I also feel like it's it's something you go to Munkana uh any foot in a narrative, like any project I give up in narrative. I know we are chiguti ah so that you don't go and submit. So maybe you can a young producers watching could uh, how's the process like for one to submit there? NRTV is one of the newest television stations in the country. Mm. Television uh, falls under the Broadcasting Authority of Zimbabwe, which is mm, BAS, BAS. And they only authorize specific people to do specific projects within the confines of television if they have, one, a vision. Secondly, if they have the capacity to do so. Mm. Um, so as as NRTV or whether it's NRTV or uh, 3K TV, what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to come with a product that is sellable, so that the commissioner or the product commission or the commissioning uh, office at whatever given station looks at it and finds value. Mm. This is a good idea. If I attach this to Delta, if I attach this to Econet. If I attach this to chicken in, uh, chicken slice, this will provide value for the sponsor or for the advertiser. That's all you got to be able to do. So but I, I want to be able to challenge you guys to go, go beyond television. that. Television is good, but it's just but one platform. Mm -hmm. It's just but one channel. I want to be able to wake up and and some young people have come up with uh, with animation for kids, black superheroes that that may or may not be an African version of Superman yeah. or or Batman, you know, or Marvel Studios. Do you know what I mean? Oh, how can you got my oh, Yeah. Instead of turning green, uh, it turns brown. Yeah, yeah. on his way back. says, There's your project, yes. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, outside of film, like I mean, the arts now have started to like mesh into each other a lot. Uh, the the music, and I mean, I guess it's always been like that, right? Your movies are gonna need scoring, yeah. um, but the music landscape. Uh, you used to be a big music guy. You still yeah. a big music guy now? I mean, you're a DJ, so you have yeah, to be. Yeah. But do you discover new music, or 
Are you guys just going and playing? I'll be honest with you. I I really am working very, very hard Mm -hmm. to be able to be an effective contributor and an an effective investor Mm -hmm. in the industry. Because I've sat on both sides of the wall. Mm -hmm. I've been a DJ. I've also been a promoter, you know. So, so I know, I really now thoroughly understand how to make the money. And the problem that we mostly face in Zimbabwe and other places in Africa is people want to make money quickly. Yeah. Mm. So it's like microwave. You know, you don't want to wait for the pot to boil and season it and yeah. you know, let it simmer. No, I want to be able to, to write a song today Make sure by the weekend it's a hit. Then a million views. Yeah. 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 And this is it. And there's a lot of pressure for people, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, after two weeks, I'm trending, you know. Uh, I don't know why. This guy will find any excuse to bring Holy Ten into the conversation. <laughs> and now he bumped into Holy Ten at Fiesta oh, Fiesta really? just last week. And, and now that's a two guys. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> to up on my podcast hey, and yeah. I'm such a big Holy Ten fan. Yeah. Now he's not coming because of you, this guy. No, Holy Ten is extremely talented. All of yeah. them are extremely talented. Yeah. They all have parts to play. Mm. Who are you paying attention to? Are you? Uh, I'm assuming that you still have like hip hop interests, like yeah, yeah. the hip hop landscape here. Who, who's who's most interesting? Oh, there are a lot of really interesting young cats. You can give me two, two, two. three, two. Three. Uh, same flow. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So it's LG something four. Fun on Blink, Blink four. four. Blink four. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah, watch out. <laughs> yeah. I like Blink. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's good. He's good. But you see, you want to be able to once you discover artists like that, be able to put them. <coughs> you want to be able to put them on a road to success. Yeah. You know. Because there's there's definitely a science to it. Yeah. If you look at the music industry, and to a point, it still is owned by big, big, muscled, and boxed up white enterprises in the States. What did they do? They understood the marketplace. They understood what the artist wanted. You know, you discover uh, a, a Kanye West. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you bring him close, give him a record deal, you give him advance, mm. you sign them on for five years, ETC, and you know within that five years something is gonna Something's pop. Something's gonna happen. I'm giving him a hundred thousand, but if yeah. something pops, I'm gonna make ten million. Yeah. But you gotta be able to get that potty, you know, that pot with that kind of money to make sure that the, the artist Dennis doesn't suffer. He's got a decent car. You're not yeah. taking my car, by the way. I'm not giving you my fancy car. I was about to start rapping. That could be a deal. Um, so you give him a car, a yeah. place to work from, decent the studio time. Studio time. Give him the stylist. Uh, this give is him it. the marketing. Give him all the different elements that and it takes. And let him do what he's born to do. Yeah. Be talent. This is it. Don't worry about everything this else. We were having a discussion. Um, uh, I went to some event that was hosted by uh, the British Consul and the U.S. Embassy, and they were talking about like uh, all along. I think a big part of our arts has been sustained by grants, um, and they're saying, but we want it to be a bit more sustainable. Mm. And I raise the point that I think if people are serious about making things that are sustainable, instead of Dennis coming and saying, "I'm a rapper." And they give me five thousand dollars to go and pay this yeah. producer that yeah. and that, and then use three thousand of it to do whatever else. Build a studio and get a marketing person in that studio, and get uh, a, like all the different things, so that when Dennis comes into the studio, you're like, "Chin don't know rap up. Yeah, can pizza go rap up? Chicha zogu tumira. You finished mix and mastered song, and we'll give you details of where you're doing your media run and who you're going to be talking to. And I think that's the missing element. There's no incubation. No, that's so much. the real business. Yeah. To the outside. And are we are we close to building that now? Like people say, they know record labels, etc. And 
I, a lot of that is just looking for headlines, right? But it, are we actually close to building that? Because these guys are making money. Ja Preza is a wealthy guy in this country. I, I know Winky D, the, just based off of what they charge. But you know, Gutana Ja Preza could be making a lot more. I think so too. Because what, what we do is we, we love them, we're crazy about them, but we haven't allowed for the rest of the world to love them too. To love them too. Yeah. And we should. Mm. You know, for a moment there, Jao Preza saw beyond the Zimbabwean borders with all the collabs that he was doing. Yeah. You know, but you want for him to be a full representation of what Zimbabwe is about, you know, on other platforms. Yeah. You know, whether it's Kane's Film Festival, you name it, he needs to be out there at representing those at those places representing Zimbabwe mm. so that they can also marvel and say wow what an artist yeah. mm. you know you don't want for us to forget and not acknowledge how much work Oliver Toku did for this country yeah. outside of our borders and by now we should have created another four or five Oliver Mtukuts. Yeah, and we haven't no we haven't but even the work ethic. All of them took it at 60 yeah, plus yeah, albums. Yeah. <laughs> like I who was a grafter? He was such a grafter. 60 plus it albums like means they must, have been, they must have been years he was putting out <laughs> two albums. And that's also the, the side of it. Do you think there's enough work ethic on, on the ground? The, is there a crisis a of management? A lot of people go into this industry for all the wrong reasons. Mm. I want to do it because I want to shine. Yeah. The Rafabam streets are Jason or what's no, oh, Jason, I'm big and I'm never sure. Hey, I'm sorry. Just... <laughs> what? Good. Good. Okay. Uh, I was I was watching an interview yesterday when I was doing my prep. Uh, I, I, I mean, I'd gone through the So Profound series already, and then I was watching the one that you did with Plot Marco, I think. Yeah, okay. It must have been last year or something. And that's where they were talking about. There was the time that you just listed, like, highlights. Um, and some of those highlights... I mean, you. I grew up knowing Tish Matas, Coca-Cola yeah. on the beat or whatever, but yeah. it was also, like, you... It spanned much, much wider than that. Uh, what would you say, and I know it's it's almost a, a, a repeat of that question, but because I thought it was such a good one, but what would you say are the highlights of your media career? Um, I was able to touch many, many lives outside of my friends and family mm. from where I grew up in High Falls. And I, I, I hadn't realized that, you know, a simple person like me, is able to do that. Mm. So the highlights was not so much that um, I happened to travel many, many places, yeah. but the things that I thought were impossible as a young person are possible, Dennis. Yeah. You know, I want the young people to open their minds up. Some people block their, their energies and almost block their ability to go far and beyond because they're scared mm. to experiment or they're scared to challenge themselves. I want to take your point as an example. You never thought you would be a broadcaster. You know, you studied other things. Mm. You could be sitting behind a desk right now, you know, in yeah. a tie, dude, and yeah. a three-piece suit, <laughs> doing yeah. numbers. Yeah. But but you answered a call. Something came to you, and you were able to, therefore, respond and respond positively. Mm. And look at where this thing that was never in your focus, yeah. you know, is taking you. And you haven't started, dude, Man. and you're doing so well. Thank you so you much. Know? Um, one of the great broadcasters, it's a pity that he died young mm. and there was no internet and Facebook then, Josh Macau always used to say to me, if God gives you control over something, 
whether it be an art form or a crowd, he says, be able to understand that those are fragments of God. Mm -hmm. God has given you a part of himself, you know, so make it count. Yeah. You know, yeah, make that's, it count. That's powerful. Yeah. That's powerful. For sure. Make it count. We're all little gods. We're made in his image, you know, in his likeness. Mm -hmm. And and so don't be a man or a woman who's lived on this earth for 50, 60 years and you've not done something incredible. Yeah. Then you're never a god or no. a goddess. No. You know, be creative. Go out there and become somebody. Yeah. But what's the downside that comes with it? Like that that part of it is... Oh, dude, the pressure. The pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and you know, today's society, man, they don't care. They'll eat you up, dude. Immedi immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> they don't wait for you to be cooked. No salt, no nothing, no, no seasoning. <laughs> they will eat you up. <laughs> one, of the, one of our clips ended up on Zim Celebs. Um... And it, I don't remember. It was a, it was it was an episode featuring K Chaps, and we were having a discussion about something. So he gave an example about I. It's like if I come on your show, and uh, I then go out and say I show you Dennis Yaka um like it wouldn't be a good thing. Basically, is what yeah. he was saying, and it was in the comments. So it's it's a really short clip, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the people in the comments are like, yeah, I got to dark. I show you. <laughs> <laughs> I, tell you, like, I know you haven't man, watched it, man, the, but but that's that's a consumption like that. They can a, how, turn the whole thing. Yeah, uh, it can, it can, it can, it can be about novel. that. Yeah, could tell or what was what was the context? Yeah, I don't know because yeah. everyone's loyal to the entertainment. Yeah, whatever's most entertaining, and sometimes that comes with, uh, you know, your personal life can be the thing that's most yeah. entertaining, yeah. and. Being in those in the in the public eye as long as you have, you definitely had those moments where it wasn't the most positive thing. Yeah, yeah. Because people are gonna talk about just like, okay, what's going on? We're gonna talk yeah, about yeah. how was and like, how did you handle that? Yeah, basically, people are very judgmental. You know, yeah. people will will make assumptions, people will condemn, mm. and people will write you off when they have absolutely no idea what the story is about at all. Case in, case in point. Yeah. Um, so I I think God is allowed for me to be able to separate, teach the artist, yeah. teach the brand, <clears throat> and teach the guy who's the at, guy. Yeah, the guy who's just at home, yeah. sitting there, you know, thinking of what's the next move. Um, <clears throat> and I've also been able to separate my personal life or my public life because the two are totally different. Yeah. When I'm on stage, <laughs> <laughs> whatever I need to this do is right like, now. I gotta do it. Yeah. You know? Saka, saka, let me do my job. You know? Mm. But when I'm not doing my job, sha. relax. Yeah, man, because it's complicated, right? Because there's the dimensions of, uh, you know, the women that uh, will be in and around yeah. you. Yeah. And at uh, times that, you know, you have relationships and marriages and whatever that, that are going on. And now there's this, this woman on stage, for example, who's coming to, you know, do you ever get in trouble at home, Kutiko, when you are actually doing Shukubas? But now it's misconstrued but to I, feel like something completely different. I, I think with my partner, the world has been very clear. Okay. And I'll always respect my partner for the person and the woman she's, that she is, mm -hmm. and and I'll never, I'll never take that for granted. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And I will not allow for her to be embarrassed. Neither will I allow for whatever excitement and and yellow bone. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Lesson learned, Jason. Uh, yeah. To to be able to come and you know scuff what 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 I've built the time. Yeah. Yeah. Because the things that are are just but for the moment. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you want to be able to evaluate. If I go down this road, <laughs> am I coming out of this? Yeah. Yeah. If you're not, then don't do it. Mm -hmm. um, people don't forget, dude. 
They you don't? Can do, no, they don't. You can do 10,000 good things. Do the one <laughs> bad thing. Ah, Dennis Hooper. Will it? Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's not it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it, yeah. Yeah. Then people don't forget the one time that you said no. no. Even when it comes to the handouts. It's like, yeah. okay, I said yes all these times. I did everything you needed me to do. And then the one time Just that I one said, time. I can't. I can't. I'm school quality. Ah, plus you want that. I don't buy that. I don't buy that. That's boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So with you know, like like you said, there's there's often the negativity of the people that are just there, and most of them don't actually really care, right? It's it's the entertaining thing that we're we're just going to put on blast. Um, so it's really impressive that you've been able to weather that for all the years. Mm-hmm. Does it still? Do you still have moments where you have like regrets, where you're like in two thousand and seven? Uh, I maybe I had an interview with this person. And I could have done this better. Like, do things like that haunt you? Or is it like, it's in the past now? I see myself as a container. Mm. I'm either half full or half empty. And I'm very wary of the substances that I carry within me Mm. as a container. If you become a container that carries things that are toxic, it is harmful mm. to you. So I have no time for toxicity. Mm. If it's toxic, cut it. I cut it. I cut it right there and there. Yeah. There is never enough time. You know, life on earth, <laughs> it is short. Yeah. Don't, re- don't regret. L- living for regrets, mm. what for, dude? <laughs> you know? Some of the worst things I've done were the best lessons in life. That you learned and took with you. That were able to be the sum total of the individual that I am today. Mm. It is always interesting to know that now I'm a lot wiser. Yes, there are things I could have done differently. But for me to get to that eventuality, I had to go through that. (laughs) I had to make that mistake. I had to make that mistake. If I hadn't, I would be a totally different person. Mm. Some even say that energy is wasted on the youth. You know? And wisdom outweighs the old. It is heavy. You've got this knowledge, this information. You'd love to impart it. This is it, but oh, you're tired, dude. Your time, you know, your time, your time this is it. You know what I mean? And and I'm glad that I, I kind of have a balance. You know mm. what I mean? I still think I'm fit enough. I have still a few years to do what God has graciously mm. allowed for me to do. And with the things I've learned, I want to be able to have this kind of conversations. Yeah. And this kind of conversations is what the conversations... Yeah. 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 You know, when young men would sit around the fire after they've gone on a hunt and they come back, they got suro chi chi chi, they would sit around and the old man would talk. Yeah. And they would impart wisdom knowledge. and knowledge. Wisdom. We don't do that no more. Do you no. understand? Yeah. Your kids, your brothers, your little sisters, you know, the information that they are they are absorbing right now is from YouTube and all this mm. TikTok and all kinds of things. And then you get to your house and you think, is this my daughter? Is this my son? Why? Because we are, we become what we, uh, what, what we, we read, what we consume, what we ingest. Yeah. So, so I'm really, uh, I'm glad that God still allows for me to be able to have conversations with people like you. Yeah. And, and I'm hoping that uh, outside of this, you've learned a thing or two. So much. Do you know what I mean? So much. And that the people, you know, with obviously with the magic of television and the internet, there are people that I may never meet, yeah. but who have seen what we're talking about, have heard, and they've thought, oh, okay, that's a good point. Yeah. Let me try that. Let me try that at home. 
Yeah. You can try some of the things you're talking about at home. At home. <laughs> go, go write that story <laughs> and then try and make that this film. Is, or write or that story. Listen, failure is part of learning. Yeah. You know? And it's not just film. It, you could be an accountant. But like, what are you? That, that you could little be Dennis, bit of, you could be an accountant <laughs> and wake that, up and be a broadcaster. That little bit of that you have, you know, you have to do. Yeah. I want to ask you the, the last question. Thank yeah. you so much for giving me so much of your time. Uh, but it's a two part question. Okay. Uh, part of it is on a personal level, and okay. the rest is on an industry level. Uh, on a personal level, you just recently did uh, the Floyd Mayweather interview. Oh, yeah. In a lot of ways, and I don't know if you've had a big person, but Floyd Mayweather is genuinely, at certain points in his life, one of the biggest personalities on the planet. Yeah. So these are new peaks, or wow. at least like close to peaks that you're experiencing now. How did you manage to have that kind of longevity? Like if we took your biggest interview from, and now yeah, it's yeah. like 25, yeah, 30 just... years apart. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time. How do you keep it going? How do you keep people from being saying, you know what? We've already heard Titch interviewing people. Let's get Dennis yeah, yeah. so I can become you. <laughs> <laughs> the next time he comes, <laughs> I want that gig. <laughs> he just fired me. <laughs> he, he just said, Titch, but I sit down. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I would have been you. Well, I, I thank God for the opportunities. Yes, like you said, Floyd Mayweather is not just an individual. He yeah. is the personification of the American dream. Yeah. You know? And he's not an individual. He is an absolute industry. Yeah. He's boxing as we know it. Yeah. His boxing slash entertainment slash black empowerment, yeah. you name it. He the guy. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's a, it was an absolute privilege to be able to, to sit with him, to, to work with his team, and actually have a one-on-one -on -one with Floyd Mayweather. Mm -hmm. um, and I always say some of these things, I don't think anything ever works by coincidence. And it's outside of these kind of relationships and these kinds of engagements mm -hmm. that you never know. I could wake up uh, you know, a few years from today mm -hmm. partnering with Floyd Mayweather and his, you know, money team money on team. something. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So the next time I fly to the studio, <laughs> man. <laughs> just make sure I'm there. Do you know whatever, what I mean? <laughs> whatever you do, just make sure I'm involved somewhere. I'll hold a bag or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? And and so so there are a lot of opportunities. And and I want to say something really, really important. Sometimes you have an encounter and you realize that Yes, I've met this person or I've, I've encountered the situation, but I'm not ready for it yet. Mm -hmm. Go back, work yourself, increase your capacity, mm -hmm. come back when you're ready. Yeah. yeah. Why am I saying this? There are a lot of discussions that I had with Floyd Mayweather and his people, and my capacity is but still a little limited. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But I have that relationship. Okay? When I'm good and ready, I'll pick up a phone and say, Hey, Floyd. What are you saying, bro? What are you saying, man? Is his number in your phone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and on a more on a broader scale, um, you have an industry here. You're right at the pinnacle of it in an executive role now you've gone through the talent phase of it you've done the production you've done it on tv and radio and now you're at the pinnacle of you know uh, a production house yeah where do you see us uh five years from now the main the now? main challenges I, I said was being able to streamline what it is that goes into production mm -hmm. okay if, if, if Jason is, is a camera person, let him be an excellent camera person, yeah. okay? Don't take him away from the thing that he's really talented doing mm -hmm. and give him a role that is not his. Yeah. And that is a challenge that sometimes we face in this industry. Two, be able to learn uh, new technology. So I, I see, you know, you, you got a red here. Yeah. It's just a black, black mm -hmm. magic. It's, you got a black magic here. A lot of people have a black magic, but they don't know how to use it. Mm -hmm. You see? They'll look at, here's a guy with a black magic, and he's 
shooting on one filter, you know, he, he zooms in and zooms out, and that's that's you that's should, it. You should have used your iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. Why buy a black magic if you're gonna yeah. zoom in and zoom out? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um so learn and learn and learn. Prep and prep and prep. And most importantly, understand who you are and what it is that you as an individual are best at doing. Yeah. Okay? Dennis, we know that you are the face, mm. right? Jace, you're the voice. Let others who are talented and gifted within this industry come and work with you mm. as a team yeah. so that every, every week, whenever your podcast is coming out, yeah. people are waiting for this product. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And the last thing I want to say is there are different intervals of how one gets paid in the industry. Some are lucky. They come in. Um, they immediately work on branding, look, Enzo Eichel, yeah. hit after hit, okay? But also be able to understand that I'm Enzo Eichel, this is what I'm good at, but I, as I grow, my capacity changes. Mm. The listener changes. Enzo Eichel today will totally be different from the Enzo Eichel who from five, the beginning. who came from the beginning, the one today, and five or ten years yeah. from today. Be able to understand that. Yeah. So always prep yourself for the future. As you're saying, Tich Mataz right now is going more into corporate, but he's still a gifted, you know, man he's of the arts. Yeah? You understand what I'm saying? So what am I supposed to do to become an effective uh, man of the arts at a corporate level? Yeah. And I've gone into areas where I think, oh, okay, now I'm inside of this huge machine, right? I need to learn how each and every cog works. Mm. And then once I've learned all that, I need to therefore say to myself, okay, now how do I build capacity? How do I, now that I've learned all this, how do I teach others? Yeah. How do I improve the working environment of those around me? How do I build better capacity, you know, mm -hmm. for Jason to wake up and say, I got a fantastic idea. I got to say, Titch, it's going to work. Yeah. And he sees me and it works. Super. Contents, information, stories, packaging is the future. <laughs> it's difficult. It can be challenging, such as life. Yeah. But it is the future. Amazing. Um, Mukoma. Uh, I kept calling you also, uh, dear. Oh, oh, no, no, tender. Yes, oh, be a bad. Won't be a tidy as and did up the tidy at Dennis also, but I'm seeing the poor tidy and us. Avara, Avara, I could have a good Man, thank you so much for for it's doing fantastic. this. Thank it's, you very um, much. It's a it's a it's a it's a commitment to come out here. Yeah, yeah. You didn't ask me what numbers I do or who this was going to. Maybe I'm just doing this to take pictures to show my girlfriend. <laughs> You're just like you know what? Out and she better be a, she, she better be hot. <laughs> <laughs> I got a story for you. <laughs> Off camera, guys. Off camera. <laughs> my story. My story alone. <laughs>